Hi my loves, you're a girl from around the web where we have culture, conversation, and community. And in today's video, I'm coming to you all with the Young and Reckless um, episode four review. Now before I hop into it, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these type of commentary and type of reviews on these ghetto ratchet reality TV shows because I do those kind of things amongst others. Um, sticking around, I love to have you here. I appreciate all of the new love and support that I've been getting and pouring in y'all let's just hop into it so now let's see they don't give us a recap like zeus does and now let's tv count your days because everybody is so pissed off about this updating app and i seen one of the blog posts um said that they had to switch their platform or something because uh lemon Pe lemon pepper stepper was saying that um you know it was a fringe band of something because the app was too similar to theirs and this that and the third so this is why they had to change their app we do not care we do not care. Y'all were supposed to have y'all ducks in a row before the rollout of this of this whole relaunching. I love a good launch. We all love a good relaunch and we love a couple of upgrades. But if y'all were gonna do that, you have all this time, all of this money, you have all of these subscribers. I can't imagine the type of server that you need. I don't know how apps work or run, but y'all were supposed to get the right people. Y'all not y'all wasn't supposed to hire your cousin. Y'all wasn't supposed to go on Fiverr and get and, and get a web developer. Y'all were supposed to get somebody for real, y'all in Atlanta. I know that there are some people, some tech people who are in this space. Even if y'all don't have the money to do that, give them a piece and a percentage of your company. Make it make sense. Y'all probably over there being cheap and trying to hold on to your ownership. But I'm just trying to tell y'all, for real, for real, like people not getting their money, people getting charged twice, people app is not working. That shit is just turning me all the way off, for real. It's turning me off bad you know and i'm not even trying to say like oh you know a little 5.99 i'm not one of those people who feel like oh it's just oh it's just a couple of dollars i don't really care no i care about all of my coins i don't know about y'all but i'm a steward over my over my income <laughs> okay i'm a steward over my income and um i'm very i'm real serious about my money and i don't like when people start playing about money funny i don't i don't give a i don't care i don't care it's a it's a it's a um, respect thing when you're in business. You gotta operate above board every time, all the time. That's all I have to say about it. Um, if y'all are entrepreneurs or in the entrepreneur or creator or creator space at all, I do suggest a book by Deepak Chopra. I think I'm saying the name right. Seven laws, seven spiritual laws of success. I'll probably put it on the um, screen somewhere. Read the book. Now that's TV. Kilo swearing them. Read a book. It's I don't know what the last book y'all read, but y'all need to read that one. Anyway, y'all, um, and stop hiring y'all cousins. Get some real people. Anyway, child, that app pissed me off. And then I can't even like watch the shows because when I be watching the shows, it's usually late. Like I need to watch them. So I don't even watch them in normal speed. I watch like 1.5 times or like two times or whatever. I can still see what's going on. No closed captions. Now we don't even have the option. I don't even have the option to watch it in like, you know, sped up. Hate that. Now I gotta sit through 46 minutes of this boring, like, no. Um, anyway, y'all, my rant is over. I'm sorry. But like and subscribe. Thank you. We're in Sneaker Doodle and Lexi, Lex, Lexi, Key. <laughs> Tenna Key. Legacy. All right. Legacy. Say it with me. I got to get these little words together. Legacy. Um, She ain't even get a chance. Poor Legacy. She ain't have a chance. She ain't seen nothing coming. She was just sitting down trying to do her sneakers. I guess she felt like, you know, we're out in the public. Nothing's really going to happen to me. I'm just here doing the activity because, you know, some people actually have some decorum about them. Y'all can say what y'all want. That beef wasn't even that serious. And Cy, you're, you're going above and beyond. They ended up going into the other room where there were people children there were people grandmother there were other people this that and the third like now that's tv young and reckless the beef ain't even that deep y'all have only been in this house for four days for you to fight in some in front of somebody else and yes to a lot of people a fight is just a fight and it means nothing but to a small child who maybe is not around those type of things to an older woman who is not in a state to physically defend herself that can be traumatic and you side you're corny for that you're gonna fight do it in the backyard do it somewhere else catch her in the sprinter but to catch her right there in that moment yeah the little bugs are gonna give you yes i ah but it was just like a little corny to me it was and i don't and not even a sneaking part that's not even what i'm saying because you you when you walking around you you know you know bumping your suckers saying you're gonna pop me i'm gonna pop you i get that 
But y'all over in the other room, you see the little kid, he all blurred out. That little boy looked like he was three. Y'all know I'm a mother before anything. And I, I just don't feel like doing all that for the little kids under any circumstances is what it's giving. Um, Sorry, you look a mess doing that. All you hear is a girl saying, you need to leave. I was cracking up because girl, get your asses the out of here. You can't, why would y'all do that in production? Why would y'all put them in that situation to begin with? Anyway, size so outside, she's talking. She's like, yeah, well, I just feel like she was trying to, um, she told me, um, Shea Bands told me she, she was on the hit list and you're not about to get me before I get you. And I don't care if you were talking about me. So I just have to do my book because I've been sitting around. I let the slave, uh, the shades thing slide because you said it was production, but I've been sitting around quiet. Side, what it's really giving is you got to let people know that you're not scary. And so you're going to get on it that's already marked out. Like, all right good for you Sai. and i just want to say again i do understand Sai's point of girl like you're not about to catch me um off guard so i'm gonna catch you off guard i just didn't like how she did it all the girls are sitting around her like yeah Sai, like i understand or whatever because obviously these are a group of girls who are just mean and don't really like her like she's already made herself a market it is, it's just gonna be what it is it doesn't matter what she does she can't come back from it because she has a group of girls who now are not in alignment and if they decide the other group of girls decide to be like all right well i don't really care i like legacy or i want to give her a chance y'all already ganged up y'all already clicked up so it's never going to work so like i said i don't know why you keep trying to come back if you was going to leave you was going to leave but you keep coming back and i'm getting snuck it just doesn't look right all the way around the board side it looks like it's giving like i'm about to show this group of girls that i really don't prefer her because nobody fucks with her and then like i said it just seems like you want to leave but you don't know when you're still coming back and you're still doing whatever and then you're not even on your p's and q's melanie had enough sense to be like oh i don't want my back against the wall or whatever and legacy just sitting there thinking like it's nothing like you got to understand you're not with the regular girls that you would go out to brunch with <laughs> you're not so anyway now i just outside getting the news about uh shea bands knowing and she said yeah i'm gonna press her like i'm gonna press her and when si was outside talking like again it made sense like i understand fully where she was coming from i do i understand completely it just it's just a little suspect that's all so Cass and crystal talk it was so produced like you know crystals outside pretty much just saying like you know it was a game it really wasn't nothing deep and this and the third and Cass was saying the same thing like girl yeah it's really not giving much and you know basically she was like yeah you know we can be cordial and we are cordial i just felt like it's not that i don't like you it's just the cast member i like the least and she was like yeah i just felt like it was work because she was outside talking to me he was like yeah well you know it's just a game it wasn't another d so cast us up and say yeah well um well i get beat up so and then she kind of like looked off and walked off crystal kind of just looked at her crystal baby that's when you're supposed to pop her boop like you ain't what you're supposed to pop her right on shit because then now what and I just feel like she kind of just looked at her like, all right, yeah. And then that was the end of it. Cash, you tried, you, you kind of ate her up in that scene because it was just like, all right, so what's next? So the girls come back home and Ferrari sees Queen D. She's all excited to see Queen D. Um, I just feel like Queen D, she, Ferrari was trying to explain to her what was happening. Y'all were there, you know, the whole time and the whole length of time they were asking. Nobody had a chance to fill in uh, Queen D. Queen D to me just felt so lost, like... <laughs> Well, who, who's who? Shea Bands, who did what? And she's sitting there with her lips all slightly ajar and she mouth open like, y'all know how Queen D got them lips on her. But they wanna know what's up with Shea Bands. So Sai come in the room and, it, and she tell the girls about the bone with uh with Shea Bands. So they bring us Shea Bands in a room, child, and they press on her. She's stumbling. You got me tripping. Oh, stumbling. Oh, girl, Shea Bands was tripping, stumbling, fumbling on them words. Standing there looking like a damn deer in headlights. Mind you, she does have a... I don't want to say she has doe eyes because her eyes are very small and slim. I, I wouldn't even call them almond-shaped eyes. They are chinky. Oh, wait. Somebody told me chinky's offensive. I didn't even know that. But they are slanted. Is that offensive, girl? She got small eyes. And um, she's very tall, thin girl. She's like, well, she talks kind of like... I'm talking and I'm projecting. My voice is above. Her voice is kind of like, if this is a voice, her voice is like under, I don't even know, because I don't know. Like, she's an under talker. Like, uh, yeah, but I was just only saying that because I just felt like, you know, she told me, but I didn't know she was going to come back to the house, so I didn't want to tell nobody, but I only told her because she was my homegirl, and I don't really even know because, you know, at the end of the day, I just thought that this year, I didn't you know. I, 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 I. You got me dripping. Oh, so lovely. Oh, they had that girl shook, shook it. Okay, and the Lord shook her the in table, huh? So, um, Naj is looking at her like, uh, 
you know what well, I don't care what you're talking about because you you was around here in everybody's face you was around here looking at you know drinking all day and doing all doing all this and doing all that and you never told us nothing and she was like oh well I just didn't know what was going on because why would I tell you if she never came back and she was trying to make it make sense but y'all I promise you this girl was not making sense I watched it and it wasn't sped up because now that's not even an option no more thank you now that's TV update but I'm listening like it almost felt it was kind of hard to watch because this girl is obviously uncomfortable. She's obviously afraid. She doesn't know if she's going to get jumped. But then I can't. Then I have to double down and say, no, I can't feel bad for these girls because they put themselves in that position. You went on that TV, you show, you went on that network, you know what it was given. But the nurturer in me, the empathic person in me, it's just like, girl, that's not in alignment. Like, you don't need to be there, baby. Shea Bez, I can look at you and your demeanor, honey. That's not where you need to be, girlfriend. Find your people. Okay, find your tribe, girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause they, them ain't that. That's not it. That's not, they should, and I'm, that's not even no shade cause that's not my tribe. I don't hang with bitches that scrappy, scrappy that we do all day. I can't, I got shit to do. Uh, you know what I mean? Like I gotta go, <laughs> you know? So it was kind of like cringe to watch how scared she was, how nobody really cared. Cause I was trying to press her. I was trying to get all worked up. Yeah, because I feel like you're a weird bitch and I just want to, I just want to mop you right now. I just want to, and she just sitting there like, I don't want legacy. Shea bands like, girl, shut the fuck up. And, and, and I just feel like, whatever, let me just keep going. Cause I don't want to drag it. Cause she was really getting on my nerve. Like, girl, if you're gonna be outside with the gangsters, nigga, like, don't get, don't get quiet. And that's what somebody said, like, Queen D said it. If you wanna take a couple of shots, if you're gonna be a shooter, bitch, don't be afraid if you catch a couple of bullets. Like, that's what happens. That's what happens. Like, okay, have you ever been so wallow, bitch? You about to get swallowed up. These girls is crazy. Why you think you about to go on one of these shows and skate and you got a, a full of gang banging ass girls? <sighs> anyway, so like, yeah, go get Sav. So she going, Sav, uh, yeah, the girls want to talk to you because you know about the Shea Bands and they want to fight us. Sav in the confession, like, they want to fight us. She got right up to Shane. She just hopped right up. They don't want to fight us. They want to fight you, baby. You was one who carried that bone. Sav got in there and they cleared it up real quick. Now I said, well, since you knew about it and you didn't tell me when she get in here, I'm a, you better pop her. I'm a fade you. Like, and then I, um, yo, they are so gangster. Like, just gangster bitches. Like, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. She's like, all right, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight her because you know I did today. I told her, girl, go home. Go home, baby. You already in March? Like, you, you, what? 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 I don't even gotta say it. I don't even have to say it. Y'all know what I'm saying. Cause what? Yeah, baby. Go find your tribe. So she said he talking, don't nobody even understand. So I be like, all right, so you gonna fight legacy or you fighting for legacy? She's like, no, I'm gonna fight legacy. Like, girl, whatever. So um, I just feel like sidebar, all of this conversation about legacy, like Mel was really doing her big one, but conversation, like legacy, I don't know if she must be really pretty in real life, but I don't know what it is. Legacy is just that girl. Ferrari is bored at Ivory's in a room and she's like, oh, you wanna fight? You wanna fight? Um, Sai or whatever. And she was just like, uh, I was like, I'm gonna go get her. So Sai so go get herself together. Kai get herself together because she like, oh yeah, this is my room. I'm right now for girl. You don't know that girl from a can of paint. And the way that she moving, I don't even think that you should be trusting her like that. But you go off. Kai is cute. She had her little quick moment with Ivory, and she's just so um, macked up. But good for her. Um, so they go down. So she was like, it's so shit. Here goes she. Went, I never said I wanted to fight you. I said I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to talk to you because I just felt like you know I was just trying to tell you something. And I know you were my friend, and I was talking to you all before the rest of these girls. I know I've been talking to you since July. Sad. Uh, sigh. Yeah, but we were talking, but you never met me in person. Yeah, you never met this bitch in person. And don't get me wrong, people establish relationships without ever seeing each other. Think about you texting, you've been talking for months and you know, y'all might've seen each other on FaceTime, but y'all ain't never meet live in the flesh. You do build connections with people. I'm not about to sit up here and play that game with y'all. But you don't know this girl and she's on this TV show and you think that you about to make a real friend with one of these. The only time you gonna make a real friend is when you in there, you went from beginning to the end in the reunion. Boom, now I know, all right, bitch, we locked in. Anything other than that, she was like, yeah, well, I just feel like you, you know, I thought we were real friends and you never told me this, that, or that. Go ahead. She didn't want to fight her. It is what it is. Um, I met you, you know, and I think just Sai, 
I think size making TV and she's not one of those girls to kind of go for that. She, I don't feel bad for, for, um, Shea Bands. Girl, you in there young, young and reckless. You supposed to know what you was dealing with. Um, <clears throat> I just can't believe she started crying though. That was weird. So Charmaine and Crystal, they do the little bag challenge. The bag challenge was so cute. Let's give them a clap because they finally got a challenge right. The bag was so cute. Um, I think, uh, who was it? Chris, Charmaine and Crystal went on. She was like, she was like, Charmaine the athlete. Crystal got that bag so quick. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Never underestimate. Um, Ivory and Sav went. They were, they were cute. Ivory got it. KP went with somebody else. Naj and Shea Bands, girl. We already knew who won that, girl. And Ferragamo and Sav was a tiebreaker. Ferragamo's team ended up winning by default. Um, Naj is like, yeah, we're going out to, to the club, but can we get this money now? Naj know how to network play. That's why she wants to put that money now. She's like, no, we're going to do it later. We're going to do it later now. Let's do that thing right now. $1,500 is about about four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. I want my cut. Listen, I'm a steward of my money, and I would have wanted my money as well. Let me get that money. Let me get that now. Let me get that now. Um, I ever tried to get all pissed off because she on a losing team. She'll end up going out, but they ended up going out. They ended up having a good time. They come back, and it seems like it's going to be the season finale, and the girls are doing their big one. It was very good. I like this episode. I want to know what y'all think about Shea Bands. And I want to know what y'all think about Legacy. She got the girls press. Pretty neat press. Let me know what you think. Drop down in the comments. As always, I'm sending you much love and much light. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.